Hello, hello everyone. Uh, today we are talking about how to differentiate between the posterior anterior view and the anthroposterior view of the chest X-ray. Four points actually we should pay attention to wherever we are looking at X-ray to identify if it is posterior, posterior anterior or anthroposterior. First of all, we will look at the clavicle. The clavicle in case of posterior anterior view of the chest x-ray is usually appearing a bit below the apex. So this is our clavicle and the apex of the lung is just above it. There is a space here, there is a difference, a distance. Well, if we look to the anthroposterior view, you will find that the position of clavicle is coincides with the position of the lung apex. There is no big distance between both of them. This is number one. Number two, if we look to the uh, scapula, if we look to the scapula in the posterior anterior view, you will, we will find the scapula is at the periphery of the image. While in the anthroposterior view, part of the scapula is slightly encroaching on the lung image in the chest x-ray. So here the scapula is extremely extremely peripheral. Here the scapula is part of which is encroaching on the lung field. The third point is the ribs. How they are looking like in the chest x-ray view. In the posterior anterior chest x-ray view, the ribs always mostly appearing as oblique or diagonal. The posterior end of the ribs. While in the anthroposterior view, they are appearing more or less horizontal. The last point we should look at and comment on is the size of the heart. Size of the heart is not preferable to be commented about in case of anthroposterior chest x-ray because usually anthroposterior view chest x-ray is giving us false highly magnified size of the heart. That's I mean it will give you false impression that this patient has cardiomegaly while he he hasn't. Okay, how we can de decide and like uh, compare the size of the heart? If you look here to the size of the heart, we are getting to the farthest points of the hearts, right and left, and taking a horizontal line. And then this horizontal line, if it is compared to the whole transverse thoracic diameter the largest part between the farthest point on the bones between the ribs if you compare this to that it shouldn't exceed 50 percent that's mean half on the other side if you look to the anthroposterior view and if you compare the farthest point on the thorax, which is called transverse thoracic diameter, if you compare it to the uh, farthest point of the heart, you will find the heart is bigger. It is almost a bit more than 50%. Might be appearing to you as 60%, 65%, whatever is the percent. So now uh, three points regarding the bones look to the clavicle and how far it is from the apex of the lung look to the scapula if it is covering or hiding or encroaching on the lung field yes or no then look to the direction of the posterior ends of the ribs if they are oblique or horizontal and finally to get sure from your identification look to how far the comparison between the size of the heart and the transverse thoracic Thank you.